what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and welcome back to another episode of our colorado rockies franchise in mlb 14 the show this is game number eight episode number three and we are in the middle of a three game set against the chicago cubs tyler chatwood on the mound and as the title says this one would be a hit party but let's continue on where we left off after the season opener against the Marlins in the last episode. We'd have three more games in Miami. The first would be a 4-1 to one win. Charlie Blackman would start things out on the very first pitch of the game with a solo home run. In the bottom of the fifth, the Marlins would strike back, tying the game up after they got a leadoff double and eventually a sacrifice fly. But in the top of the seventh inning, we had a big one. Cargo leads it off with a single, then steals to second base. Tulo would follow that up with a single, and Michael Kadire would eventually bring Cargo home on a sack fly. Later in the inning, Justin Morneau would double to right center, bringing Tulo home. We'd go up 3-1, and then in the top of the ninth, Tulo gets his first home run of the year, a solo shot, making the final score 4-1. Rex Brothers came in the eighth and the ninth pitch very well not allowing a hit and Brett Anderson goes six innings giving up one earned run and seven strikeouts to start his season out one nothing in the third game of the four game series against the Marlins in the second inning we start off good Michael Kadire and Morneau would single with no outs with one out back-to-back -back hits by DJ LeMahieu and Tyler Chatwood we'd end up going up two to nothing but the Marlins would even the score by getting one run in both the third and the fourth inning. The bottom of the seventh is pretty much where the game was decided. We started that inning out by giving up a double and then a single. Morales would come in and try to save the day with no outs and runners on the corner. He'd get a strikeout for out number one. He'd get a shallow fly out for out number two. But with two outs and two runners on, they'd get a bloop single, score a run that eventually would be the winning run. Matt Belisle gets the loss on that game, and we lose 3-2, to two, making our record on the season at this point 2-1. The last game of the series was a quick counts game. It was a 1-0 victory. Not too much exciting happened. Cargo got his first home run of the season in the sixth inning, and that was pretty much all that happened. De La Rosa went six innings, not allowing a run, seven strikeouts, and Latroy Hawkins gets his second save of the season. We then go home for our home opener in a three-game series against the Arizona Diamondbacks. In the home opener, we would start the game out with four straight singles, get two runs in the first inning, but we really couldn't score after that. Had a total of 10 hits, and all of our offense came really in the first inning. We'd get the 2-1 to one win. They eventually would score to cut the lead in half, but it just wasn't enough. Latroy Hawkins comes in, gets save number three of the game or of the season. Jordan Lyles, great, great outing. He goes seven and one thirds innings, no earned runs, six strikeouts, only four hits allowed. He improves to one and zero, oh, and then we'd move on to game number two of the series against the Diamondbacks. A very crazy game, down three to two in the bottom of the seventh. With one out and one on, Cargo comes in to pinch hit, gets a double and brings home Willene Rosario from first to tie the game up. Cargo would steal third later on in that inning and score off a sacrifice fly from DJ LeMahieu. In the very next inning, Paul Goldschmidt comes in, hits a two-run home run, reclaims the lead 5-4, to four. but then we had some ninth inning magic in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. And a man on first, we bring in Tulowitzki for a pinch hit. He gets a single. DJ LeMahieu, the next batter up, hits a ball into right center field. The center fielder tried to make a play on the ball and totally missed it, fell to the ground, and Tulo would come home all the way from first base for a walk-off double by DJ LeMahieu, who ended up finishing that game with three RBIs. He's been playing great for me, typically in the seven or eight hole, but just really playing great for me. One of those underrated guys that's contributing to this offense. We'd get the win, improve to five and one. Final score would be six to five. And then we'd have one more game against the Diamondbacks. This was another quick counts games. Drew Stubbs would set things off with a solo home run in the first inning as we had Tulowitzki getting some rest that game. We'd never look back after that. Stubbs ended up falling short of the cycle, 
just needing a double and he just could not complete that. Carlo Gonzalez hits home run number two of the season. Six different players with the RBI and we would improve with a record of seven and one and that's where we are. I'm sorry, we would improve to a record of six and one and that's where we are today now in this game. If you've been paying attention to it, I know I haven't really been talking about it, but as the title had stated, pretty much a hit party Everybody just getting involved here as right now the score is 8 to 1. And real quick, man, I got to give a shout out to all you guys who came by the stream on Tuesday night. We streamed some Rockies franchise on Twitch TV. And I think it's something I'm going to try to do more often. It'll more than likely be on Wednesday and Thursday afternoons on my days off from work. Uh, but you guys know with the format of the series where I record a game, play five or six games, and then record another one. In between those YouTube episodes, I'm going to do what I did on Tuesday night. If you missed it, I basically just live stream. You saw game number three of this White Sox series and then the opening game uh, against the San Francisco Giants in San Francisco. I won't let you know what happened. If you were at the stream, you already know what happened in those games, but they were really, really interesting. And uh, again, it's something I think I'm going to do more often. If you can't find yourself to wait in between episodes of this Rockies franchise, it'll be a good way to continue and enjoy it. And of course, I'll let you guys all know on YouTube when I'm live streaming on Twitch. But if you want to, feel free to add me now. The Twitch channel is X Popular Stranger. You see Justin Morneau there getting his first home run of the season. And we are now up 10-1. to 1. And with that score, with our record, I mean, it's no secret we're going to win this game. We're going to improve to 7-1 on the season. And I've had a lot of people ask me in the Show Nation forums and in the comments of these videos and on Twitter, you know, what level are you playing on? Right now it is on All-Star. And this is the difficulty I've been playing previous show titles on. And it's usually presented a pretty even challenge for me where I'm able to win, but also, you know, lose every other couple games or so. But I just felt it was a really good setting for me. This one feels a little easy. I did struggle to score runs kind of early uh, in, the, in the game, you know, those games against the Marlins. But I've been scoring a lot of runs lately. Um, so what I did after this game is I did bump up some sliders for the computer to allow them to get more hits and have more power when they're hitting. So we'll see how it goes. But if I continue to kind of win games easily by big scores, we may look to go up to the next difficulty. Again, I just want to see how everything plays out. But like I said, we're going to get the win here. Nice out there on the warning track. And then we finish things off here with a strikeout. He gone. And we're going to improve, as I said, to 7-1. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll be back next week. With another one, I'm thinking against the Philadelphia Phillies because we got a series with them coming up. It's Popular Stranger, man. Thanks again for watching. Click that thumbs up. I'm out. Peace.